In this video, I'll go over my top picks for bond ETFs in Canada. If you're searching for the best bond ETFs in Canada, you're not alone. Bond ETFs are exploding in popularity in Canada. And overall, just ETFs in general are really gaining in popularity. According to the Canadian ETF Association, during the month of August 2020, the industry grew by approximately $12 billion in assets under management, which is a mind-blowing statistic because that's just Canada alone. It seems like the ETF disruption is finally hitting Canada in full force and mutual fund companies should be running scared. Let's start by what is a bond ETF? Bond ETFs are similar to equity ETFs, but they exclusively invest in fixed income. So bond ETFs are usually passively managed and trade similarly to stock ETFs on a stock exchange. They hold a portfolio of bonds with different particular strategies. Some of the advantages I find of bond ETFs are they are highly liquid. So bond ETFs make benchmark bond indices much more accessible to ordinary investors. Because they trade on exchange rather than over the counter, like individual bonds, it's much easier to buy and sell. Bond ETFs also effectively allow investors the ease and transparency that comes with stock trading. Bond ETFs are more liquid than mutual funds, slightly, and much more liquid than individual bonds. Investors have the option of trading them if the underlying bond market isn't performing well. Another advantage is that it makes rebalancing your portfolio much easier, so it's much more flexible. The downside of bond ETFs are mostly psychological. Bond ETFs can lose money in the market depending on interest rate movements. You can see a negative return on your bonds. Compared to a GIC or individual bond, which can never technically lose any money, it's perceived as a bit riskier. But if your goal is long-term investing, I believe that bond ETFs are the way to go. GICs and bonds are good for if you have short-term purchases you need to make, such as a down payment on a house in a couple years, but they just aren't very liquid. So if you have a portfolio of ETFs, look at getting bond ETFs. So now I'm going to go over five different categories of bond ETFs, and I'll list a couple different ones of my top picks per category. This isn't an extensive list, it's more of a summary and if you wanna see a more extensive list, I have the top 20 bonds, and that's written on my blog at wealthawesome.com. But for now, I'll go over the top 10 in the five different categories of bond ETFs. So for the first category is short-term bond ETFs in Canada. So I'll explain what a short-term bond ETF is. They reduce the exposure of risk to your capital, but they offer you the possibility of an adequate return on your investment. They traditionally take one to three years to mature for the underlying bonds within the portfolio. Due to the shorter maturity date, there is a smaller chance of being adversely affected by interest rate hikes or other similar events. It also constitutes a lower credit risk than longer term bonds. So my top two picks for short-term bond ETFs, number one, iShares, Core Canadian Short-Term Bond Index ETF, or XSB. This bond ETF seeks to provide income by recreating the performance of the FTSE Canada Short-Term Overall Bond Index, and that's net of expenses. Number two, Vanguard Canadian Short-Term Bond Index ETF, or VSB. This popular ETF seeks to track the performance of the Bloomberg Barclays Capital Global Aggregate Canadian Government and Credit 1-5 to five Year Float Adjusted Bond Index. It primarily invests in public investment grade fixed income securities issued in Canada. So the second category of bond ETFs are high yield bond ETFs. High yield bond ETFs invest in corporate bonds that come with a lower credit rating. These are considered to be bonds that are below investment grade, or some can be even called junk bonds. While the name might suggest that junk bonds can be very negative, it doesn't necessarily indicate the type of returns that your investment can realize with them. The higher risk involved with non-investment grade bonds does offer higher returns than funds that invest in bonds with lower yields in both government and corporate sectors. There is a more substantial risk of default among the issuing companies. That's why you get the higher return for the higher risk scenario. 
There are thousands of companies represented in the funds. Defaults can lower the overall return on high yield bond ETFs. So my top two picks for these are iShares iBox High Yield Corporate Bond ETF. This ETF was the first mover in the high yield corporate bond ETF market. It's long been one of the most significant and liquid junk bond or high yield bond ETFs with over $18 billion in assets under management, which is a huge amount. Its core exposure through the iBox index it tracks is solid and it covers the most liquid segment of the junk bond market. My other pick for high yield bond ETF is the SPDR Barclays High Yield Bond ETF. This is also a very significant and popular bond fund with almost $10 billion of assets under management. This ETF has a portfolio that is among the broadest in its segment. The fund trades well and it has a substantial asset base. It competes most directly with HYG, which is also substantial and liquid itself. Category number three, best corporate bond ETFs. Corporate bond ETFs are issued by companies with investment grade credit ratings. The bonds in corporate bond ETFs can be issued by corporations from a wide variety of industries. So I'll go over my top two picks here, number five and six of the list. So the first one is iShares iBox investment grade corporate bond ETF. And this is a huge ETF with $46 billion of assets under management. LQD is one of the most popular corporate bond ETFs with massive liquidity and substantial assets under management. It's reputable for its broad portfolio bonds from the market iBox USD liquid investment grade index, which underlying liquidity might contribute to tight tracking and subdued discounts. LQD only selects bonds that have at least three years to maturity. My other top pick for corporate bond ETFs is the Vanguard short-term corporate bond ETF. VCSH is a short-term corporate bond that matures within one to five years. It seeks to track the performance of a market-weighted corporate bond index with a short-term dollar-weighted average maturity. The fund employs an indexing investment approach designed to track the performance of the Bloomberg Barclays US one to five year corporate bond index. Category number four is global bond ETFs in Canada. So global bond ETFs, they provide exposure as you would expect to fixed income securities from around the world. These ETFs invest in bonds that can include both government issued and corporate bonds. Depending on the ETF, there might be a preference in terms of time to maturity for the bond as well as the desired yield. Most of these are attempting to take advantage of changing interest rates and currency values to improve returns. So my top two picks for these, and it's number seven and eight in the category of best bond ETFs. My first one is Invesco Global Short-Term High Yield Bond ETF. The Invesco Global Short-Term High Yield Bond ETF is based on the DB Global Short Maturity High Yield Bond Index, and it tries to track that index closely. It invests at least 80% of its total assets in either US or foreign short-term non-investment grade bonds, and that is what the index consists of. The index provider chooses bonds issued by corporations, sovereign, sub-sovereign, or quasi-government entities. And my second pick for global bond ETFs is the First Trust SSI Strategic Convertible Securities ETF. This ETF invests at least 80% of its net assets in a portfolio of US and foreign convertible securities. The fund may also invest in convertible securities of any credit quality, including unrated securities and below investment grade securities with effective or final maturities of any length. So it's a very wide spectrum of bonds that this can invest in. And for the final category, category number five is the best emerging market bond ETFs in Canada. And this will round out our top 10 list of bond ETFs. An emerging market bond ETF consists of fixed income debt issues from countries that have developing economies. These can include government and corporate issued bonds in Asia, Latin America, Africa, and many other countries. So the emerging market bonds usually offer higher returns as opposed to traditional bonds because they are riskier than the bonds from developed countries. The fact that developing countries 
tend to grow much quicker and have a higher GDP growth rate also contributes to higher potential returns. These emerging markets allow investors to diversify positions in emerging market bonds, much like a mutual funds, but it trades like a stock. If the underlying bonds in the ETF perform well, the ETF does as well. So my top pick for emerging market bond ETF is the iShares JP Morgan USD Emerging Market Bond ETF. And this tracks an index of US dollar denominated sovereign debt issued by emerging market countries with more than $1 billion outstanding and at least two years remaining in maturity. The fund typically favors longer maturities and tends to lean towards relatively higher risk. It offers substantial liquidity for an emerging market bond ETF, so it makes it a strong pick for traders. My other top pick for emerging bond ETF is the SPDR Bloomberg Barclays Capital Emerging Markets Local Bond ETF, otherwise known as EBNB. This ETF tracks a market value weighted index of fixed rate local currency sovereign debt from emerging markets. The exclusion of the ultra short term end of the market makes it a relatively incomplete view of the broader market. But regardless from that fact, it's still a very solid emerging market ETF. So there's many ways to buy bond ETFs in Canada. My preferred and usually the cheapest route is by using a discount broker. I personally use the discount broker Quest Trade for all my stock and ETFs trading. You can purchase all the bond ETFs that I mentioned before at no charge on its trading platform. And if you trade stocks, you could get $50 in free stock trades with a special offer. I've put a link in the description in case you're interested. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll be putting out content every single week. And if you want to go more in depth in this bond ETF subject, I wrote a longer and more in depth guide on my blog, wealthawesome.com, on the best 20 bond ETFs in Canada, whereas this video only goes over the top 10. So make sure you check out the blog. It's one of the fastest growing personal finance blogs in Canada, and it also has many other topics you might be interested in. So make sure you check it out. And as always, thanks for listening.